to lead us ni kutuongoza into one prayer katika ombi moja that the lord spoke to me about ambaye bwana alininenea kuhusu and then number 2 kisha ya pili to challenge us kutitia changamoto for our burning bush kwa kichaka chetu kinachowaka moto every accomplishment for a believer kila kutimilizwa kwa muumini anything a believer achieves chochote muumini ambacho anapata there are two parts to it kuna mambo mawili na husu hilo jambo there is god's part kuna sehemu ya mungu and human responsibility na kazi yako jukumu lako we looked at the sign of god yesterday tuliangalia upande wa mungu jana today we are going to look at our part leo tunaenda kuangalia sehemu yetu no fire hakuna moto can start itself ambao unaweza jianzisha Please note that. Tafadhali angalia hiyo. No fire. Hakuna moto. Can start itself. Ambao unaweza jiwakisha. Even miracle fire. Hata moto wa miujiza. Doesn't start itself. Huwa hauwaki mwenyewe. There's God's part. Kuna sehemu ya Mungu. Look. Tazama. Elijah. Elia said. Alisema. Let's do the altar. Wacha tufanye madhabahu and put the sacrifice there na tuweke dhabihu pale the god that will answer by fire mungu ambaye atajibu kwa moto we will know that he is god tutajua kwamba yeye ndiye mungu but i want you to know lakini nataka ujue fire did not come by god alone moto haukukuja kwa mungu peke yake number one. ya kwanza there was a man to pray kulikuwepo na mtu aliyeomba Number two, ya pili there was a sacrifice for the fire to come to Kulikuwa na dhabihu ya moto kushukia So fire doesn't start itself Hivyo basi moto haujiakishi wenyewe So I'm going to throw one or two uh, challenges to us Nitawarushia changamoto moja ama mbili that we will begin working with as our responsibility Ambazo tutaanza kuzishughulikia kama majukumu yetu But before we do that Lakini kabla tufanye hivyo Let's make a prayer Wacha tufanye ombi And um, we look at Matthew chapter 27. Tuangalie Mathayo sura sura 27. Matthew 27. Mathayo 27. And verse 62. Msari wa 62. On the next day. Siku iliyofuata. Which followed the day of preparation. Ambaye ilifuata siku ya kujiandaa. The chief priests and Pharisees gathered together to pilot kuhani mkuu na samahani oh you don't have swahili bible i have it okay let's continue she, she will catch up with us as we continue say sir we remember while he was still alive how that deceiver said after three days i will arise kesho yake yani siku iliyofuata ile siku ya maandalizi ya sabato viongozi na makuhani na mafarisayo wakamwendea pilato na kusema bwana tumekumbuka kwamba yule mdanganyifu wakati alikuwa bado hai alisema baada ya siku tatu nitafufuka now just just hold it there let me see something there wacha niseme kitu hapo please listen to this tafadhali sikiza the greatest enemy adui mkuu to prophecies over your life ambaye anapigana na unabii juu ya maisha yako is limitation ni vizuizi did you get that je umesikia hiyo they have gathered wamekusanyika so that the prophecy ili unabii of rising the that day ya kufufuka siku ya tatu may not be fulfilled usitimie Remember it was prophesied thousands of years even before he came. Kumbuka ilikuwa imetabiriwa miaka mingi kabla hata yeye kuja. The Messiah will come. Kama Mesia atakuja. He will live. Ataishi. Take the human body. Atachukua mwili wa binadamu. And he will die on the cross. Na atakufa msalabani. And after the third day. Na baada ya siku ya tatu. He will rise. Atafufuka. A prophecy that is 
thousands of years old unabii ambao umekaa miaka 1000 zaidi they gathered together wakakusanyika pamoja they went to the relevant authorities wakaenda kwa utawala ambao ulikuwa unamaanisha sana the highest authority of the day utawala ambao ulikuwa juu zaidi wa siku ile they went to pilot wakaenda kwa pilato the one who was the king yule ambaye alikuwa ni mfalme he said akasema listen they are even nicknaming jesus hata wanampatia yesu jina bandia tonight usiku wa leo every name kila jina they have given you ambalo wamekupatia that is not really you ambalo sio wewe halisi to misrepresent you kukuwakilisha usivyo by the power of the prophetic kupitia nguvu ya unabii we will take away that name tutaliondoa lile jina because it is written kwa sababu imeandikwa you shall be named utaitwa jina by the name that the lord gives jina ambalo Mungu atakupatia not the one that they give you sio jina ambalo watakupatia they said that deceiver wakasema yule mdanganyifu we hand him say tulisikia wakisema we hand him say tulisikia akisema that after three days kwamba baada ya siku tatu he will rise atafufuka listen sikiza jesus was not saying it yesu hakuwa anasema it was a prophecy ilikuwa ni utabiri he was not saying it hakuwa anasema it was whether he said it or not iwe alisema ama hapana it is a prophecy that heaven was committed to fulfill ni utabiri ambao mbingu ilikuwa imejitolea kutimiza while he was still alive alipokuwa hai how that deceiver vile yule mdanganyifu said alisema after three days baada ya siku tatu i will rise nitafufuka continue Therefore, basi this is where we were going. Hapa nipo tulikuwa tunaelekea. Therefore, basi command amrisha that the tomb kwamba kaburi be made secure. Lilindwe. Why would you fight? Kwa nini upigane? Tukizika watu tunaandanga nyumbani hatutaki kujua shughuli ya makaburi. Hawa wana shughuli ya makaburi. kwa sababu wanajua usijali wewe relax ni wakati wako watu wakupumzika Sikiza watu wakizika mtu wanaendaga awashughuliki mamneno ya kaburini but because lakini kwa sababu the man they are buried mtu ambaye wamezika is unpredictable ni mtu ambaye hawezi tabirika they can't take chance hawezi chukua nafasi Did you know you are unpredictable? Unajua wewe huwezi tabirika. That is why some people call you names. Hiyo ndio maana watu wengine wanakuita majina. Because according to them. Kwa sababu kulingana na wao. You are supposed to be history. Unastahili kuwa historia. But you are present. Lakini uko. What kind of a man is this? Huyu ni mtu wa namna gani? They are for command that the tomb be made secure. Basi amrisha kaburi lililindwe until the third day paka siku ya tatu less is disciples isije wanafunzi wake come by night wakuje usiku and steal him away na wamuibe where do we you steal the dead body to take unaiba mwili ambao umekufa upeleke wapi is that something to steal je hilo ni kitu la kuiba and say to the people na uambie watu he has risen amefufuka is not the stealing sio kuiba is that they know something is telling them kuna kitu ambacho kinawaambia this guy eh huyu mtu you can't stop him hauwezi msimamisha something is telling them kitu kinawaambia this one huyu even if you kill him hata mkimuua you can't stop him hamuwezi mkamzuia lest the disciples come by night and steal him away and said to the people he has risen from the dead isije samani isije wanafunzi wake wakakuja usiku na kuiba mwili wake na kisha kuambia watu kwamba amefufuka kutoka kwa wafu so the last deception kwa hivyo uongo wa mwisho will be worse than the first utakuwa mbaya kuliko wa kwanza now look at what happened angalia kile kilitendeka pilot sent to them pilato akawaambia you have god mumelinda you have the resources Muko na rasilimali. You have the machineries. Muko na mashini. You have what it takes. Muko na kile kinahitajika. Go you away. And then in Jesus. Make it secure as you know how. And then mkalinde vile mnavyojua. 
they have tried how they know to stop you wamejaribu vile wanajua kukusimamisha but they won't succeed lakini hawatafanikiwa continue this is where i wanted to get to so they went and made the tomb secure hivyo basi wakaenda wakalinda kaburi sealing the stone wakifunika lile jiwe na wakaweka muhuri na wakaweka muhuri make it impossible wakifanya isiwezekane even if you resurrect hata kama utafufuka stand down there kaa pale ndani even if you resurrect hata kama utafufuka you can't come out hauwezi toka nje you won't be hard hautasikika you will not be around utakuwa tu pale but you will not be hard lakini hautasikika you will not be seen hautaonekana you stay down there utakaa kule ndani lift up your hand and say not me inua mikono sema sio mimi sealing the stone tia muhuri katika jiwe and setting the guard na mkiweka walinzi nimejaribu nifike hapo ni kuonyeshe what limitation is Nimefika hapo ni kuonyesha vizuizi ni nini. They know. Wanajua they can't deal with Jesus. Hawezi shughulika na Yesu. But they are looking for something to limit. Lakini wanatafuta kitu cha kuzuia. Limitation. Vizuizi. What now write this. Maybe it may help you. Pengine itakusaidia. What is limitation? Kizuizi ni nini? From Bible perspective. Kutokana na mtazamo wa Biblia. What is limitation? Kizuizi ni nini? Anything spiritual or physical? Kitu chochote ambacho nita kiroa macha kuonekana restraining your full manifestation. Ambayo inazuilia kudhihirika kwako kamilifu. Wewe fufuka. Lakini kaa huko chini. <laughs> Be in existence kuwa tu but be relevant lakini usitambulike usiwe na sifa visit offices tembelea maofisi let them not recognize you wacha wasikutambue anything spiritual kitu chochote ambacho nita kiroho or physical ama kinaonekana restraining your full manifestation ambalo linazuia kudhihirika kwako kamilifu You know what the Lord began discussing with me about this. Bwana alianza kunena nami kuhusu hili. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. In time. Wakati wowote. Your investment. Wekuwekeza kwako. Your sacrifices. Kujitolea kwako. Doesn't match your results. Haiambatani na matokeo yako. You are dealing with the limitation. Unashughulika kama unakumbana na vizuizi. I will say it again. Tasema tena. In the time, wakati wowote, your investment, kuwekeza kwako, your sacrifice, dhabihu zako ama kujitolea kwako, your cost dimension. Mali unajitolea pande za mali. Sehemu yako ya gharama. Sehemu yako ya gharama. Umeripa gharama. Kabisa. Ni kama unasoma unaitwa profesa lakini hauna kitu ya kuonyesha umesoma Oh can I say something Sasa kwa sababu maneno ya profesa imeingia <laughs> Sasa hiyo mini professors especially in Kenya Ma professor wengi hasa hapa Kenya they are very limited wako na vizuizi vingi Wacha tu ni With, with all respect wacha niite laana ya limitation hivi kwamba umesoma mpaka top lakini una drive konikoni don't worry you don't know what konikoni is you don't want to, you don't even want to know do you understand je unaelewa yes When you are cost, mali gharama yako doesn't reflect in your results. Haionekani katika matokeo yako. 
that is a limitation hiyo ni kizuizi umelipa gharama umelipa gharama umeinvest umewekeza ume sacrifice umejitolea by doesn't reflect lakini haionekani in your outcomes katika matokeo yako limitation vizuizi it is against the law of life ni kinyume cha sheria ya maisha to pay the cost kulipa gharama and not have it na usipate ah you did not hear that It is against the law of life. Ni kinyume cha sheria ya maisha. To pay the cost of rising. Kulipia gharama ya kuinuka. And you don't rise. Na uinuki. It is against the law of life. Ni kinyume cha sheria ya maisha. To pay the cost. Kulipa gharama of promotion. Ya kupata kupanda cheo. And you don't get to promote it. Na upati cheo. It is against the law of life. Ni kinyume cha sheria ya maisha. And that is the case with the many of us here. Na hiyo ndio hali ya watu wengi hapa. Gharama umelipa over the years. Miaka mingi umelipa gharama. Umelipa gharama ya kusaidia watu. Gharama ya kusavu watu. But it is not reflecting. Lakini haionekani. Ni kama mtu akwambie nimekuwekea pesa kwa account lakini ukienda kwa bank i reflect. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? unashangaa ameweka namna gani na ana insist na anakuja na sleep lakini kwa system i reflect that is exactly what is happening to many of us here hivi ndivyo inatendekea watu wengi mahali hapa umefanya deposits umewekeza umeinvest umewekeza umelipa gharama You have gone through things. Umepitia mambo. At this point, mahali hapa, you are supposed to be enjoying the returns. Unapaswa kuwa unafurahia matokeo. But the returns are not there. Lakini matokeo hayapo. They are not reflecting. Hayaonekani. They are only in the paper. Yako katika makaratasi tu. But not in the system. Lakini sio kwa miundo. Limitation. Vizuizi. Somebody say limitation. Sema vizuizi. Today, usiku wa leo, you will go utaenda Yes Anything spiritual or physical Chochote ambacho ni cha kiroho ama kinaonekana That restrains ambacho kinazuia You are full manifestation Kudhihirika kwako kama Acha nikuoneshe kitu And then we are going to pray Kisha tutaomba Hata kama tutaomba tu peke yake tonight Believe me. Amini. The mission of God will be accomplished. Kazi ya Mungu itakuwa imetimia. John chapter 11. Yohana sura ya 11. Story ya Lazaro hapo. Sasa tunaweka Lazaro na Yesu pamoja. Sasa Yesu unaona wamemuwekea mawe. Wakasema hata ukifufuka kaa huko. Ukiwa huko hautasaidia watu. Ukiwa huko haukemei mapepo. Ukiwa huko hautusumbui. Kaa huko. Wewe fufuka lakini kaa huko. Usitoke. Usinuke. Hatutaki kusikia watu wakiongea maushunda yako. Kaa huko. Baka maaskari wakawekwa kwa kaburi. Tangu ni banks zinalindangwa na maaskari. Si makaburi. Why would you invest so much? Kwa nini uwekeze namna hii? On the dead. Kwa mtu ambaye amekufa. Is because you are not convinced. Kwa sababu hujashawishika. He, really he is really supposed to stay with the dead. Kwamba anapaswa kukaa na wafu. <laughs> Maskari kutoka state house warinde kaburi kwa sababu ya mtu amekufa. Some of you are not even aware the kind of warfare that is surrounding your life. Wengi wenu watamtambua. That the enemy knows you more than you even know yourself. Kwamba adui anakujua zaidi ya vile unavyojijua mwenyewe. Sasa wacha tuende kwa Rafiki ya Jesus. 
You know whoever. <laughs> Let me tell you. Whoever fights you. Yeyote ambaye anapigana nawe. Will fight your allies. Atapigana na marafiki wako. Will fight your allies. Atapigana na marafiki wako. Okay, let me put it in a better way. Acha niki kwa njia nzuri. Any one that hates you. Yeyote ambaye anakuchukia. Will not only fight you. Hata kupiga tu. He will fight your support system. Atapiga pia wale ambao wanasimama nawe. I'm saying things. And listen. Sikiza. When your support system is fought. Wakati wale wanaosimama nawe wanapigwa. You are weak. Unakuwa mdhaifu. Sasa ni kesi ya mtu na rafiki yake. We all of them we are dealing with, uh, una, and don't forget all of them walikufa wakafufuka. So we are handling the same issue. Kwa hivyo tunashughulikia hali inafanana. Na walikuwa marafiki. Na wote wamezikwa. Hawajakufa tu. <laughs> Verse 43 and 44. Mstari wa 43 wa 44. I'm just building a prayer item just one. Now when he had said these things. Basi alipokuisha kusema maneno haya. He cried with a loud voice. Alilia kwa sauti kubwa. Lazarus. Lazaro come forth. Njoo nje. Sasa miujiza iko hapa. And you and died. Yule aliyekuwa amekufa came out. Akatoka nje. But he was bound. Lakini mikono yake imefungwa. Hata ukifufuka. If you are bound, you kama, can't go nowhere. Kama umefungwa uwezi enda mbali. Bound and look. Look at where strategic binding Did you really interpret that? Ah, yes. uh, tazama mahali ambapo alikuwa amefungwa. They did not just bind him. Hawakumfunga tu. Let me ask you. Wacha nikuulize. Why would you bind a dead man his arms and his legs? Kwa nini ufunge mfu mikono yake na miguu yake? Why? Kwa nini? A dead man. Mtu ambaye amekufa. The legs and the hands. Mikono na miguu. God is telling us something here. Mungu anatuambia kitu mahali hapa. Limitation. Vizuizi affects. Zinaguza. You are fruitfulness. Zinaadhiri matokeo yako ama matunda yako. Hey, you are progress. Na kusonga mbele kwako. When they tied when they took Peter to prison. Walipompeleka Petero gerezani. They tied him the hands. Walimfunga mikono. And they tied him the legs. Na wakamfunga miguu. Don't have results. Usikuwe na matokeo. And don't move forward. Na usisonge mbele. So, tonight, kwa hivyo usiku wa leo, two things will begin to happen to you. Mambo mabaya yataanza kukutendeka maishani mwako. Your progress, mwendo wako, will be accelerated. Utaongezwa kasi. And from tonight, na kutoka usiku wa leo, your outcomes, matokeo ama mapato yako, will come. Yatakuja. I said your results will come. Nasema matokeo yako yatakuja. You will not be doing things without results. Hautakuwa unafanya mambo bila mapato. Oi. Came out bound and in foot. Akatoka amefungwa mikono na miguu. With grave clothes. Na mavazi ya kaburi. Not natural clothes. Sio mavazi tu ya kawaida. With the bindings of the dead na mafungo ya ya madeni good you have interpreted well hata kama si sanifu interpreter sasa na interpreting hivyo mafungo umewahi kusikia mafungo sasa huyo ndiye interpreter and his face na uso wake was wrapped ulikuwa umefungwa with a cloth na kinanguo now listen sikiza jesus yesu said 
Akasema to them akawambia look tazama you must know where to deal with what lazima ujue ni wapi utashughulikia kitu fulani Lazaro Lazaro akufungwa uso okay akufungwa uso akufungwa wherever alikuwa amefungwa akuwa amefungwa na mapepo ni hawa wanadamu walikuwa wamefunga Yesu akaongelesha wanadamu wafungue mwanadamu waliyefunga Do you understand? Je, unaelewa? Remember this is not our message, eh? Kumbuka usio ujumbe wetu. Jesus sent to them. Yesu akawaambia, "Loose him. Mfungueni. And let him go." Na mwache aende zake. He did not say loose him and let him live. Hakusema mwache mfungueni na mwache aende. He is already living. Tayari anaishi. But he can go where he want to go. Lakini hawezi enda kule anataka kwenda. He can be what he want to be. Hawezi fanyika kile anataka kufanyika. He can't achieve what he want to achieve. kile anataka kupata. He said. Akasema, "Look, tazama. Limitation. Vizuizi is only dealt with by the order of heaven." Zinashughulikiwa tu na nguvu kutoka mbinguni. Jesus gave the order. Yesu akapeana amri. Release the man. Achilieni huyu mtu. Loose the man. Fungueni huyu mtu. Let him go. Wateni aende. That is the order that will come from heaven today. Hiyo ndio amri itatoka mbinguni leo. You must go to your destiny. Lazima uende kwa hatima yako. You must go where your life is ordained for Lazima you. Lazima uende kule maisha yako yanapaswa kwenda. Now. Sasa. And this was right this also. Andika hii pia. Limitation Vizuizi. is anything that masters and slows your progress. Ni kitu chochote kinafuata kina kinajua na kinapunguza mwendo wako. Anything that want to master and slow your progress. Kitu chochote kinataka kuchunguza na kupunguza mwendo wako. You are there. Uko hapo. You are doing it. Unafanya hivyo. But not with the speed you are to. Lakini sio na kasi ambayo unataka. It is when another determines your perimeter. Ni wakati mwingine anaamua mpaka wako. Farao, Farao aliwaambia hivi. Sikiza hii kwa makini. Farao aliwaambia, "Tutawaachilia." Lakini msiende mbali. Tutawaachilia. You want to go and sacrifice to your God? Mnataka kwenda mtoe dhabihu kwa Mungu wenu? We will let you. Tutawaachilia. But don't go very far. Lakini msiende mbali sana. That is a limitation. We will let you. Tutawaachilia. But we determine your speed. Lakini tunaamua kasi yenu. We determine your distance. Tunaamua umbali wenu. Mose said. Mose Musa akasema, kama ni kwenda. Hatuwezi anda hapa karibu. In fact, hata tukitoa sacrifice within ni abomination kwa Mungu. Tutaenda safari. Mpaka tufike njangwani tutoke misri kabisa to sacrifice kwa Mungu wetu Moses knew Musa alijua as long as it is within mradi tu ni hapa maeneo you are mastered unafuatwa as long as it's within mradi tu ni hapa kwa maeneo tu you will be controlled utatawaliwa I'm trying to show you what limitation is limitation is more than that term it's more than a term kizuizi ni zaidi ya hilo jina It's more than a statement. Ni zaidi ya usemi. Let 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 conclude it this way. Watatumalizie namna hii. Limitation. Kizuizi. Ni ceilings ambazo zinazuia kuinuka kwa watu. Ni paa ambazo zinazuia kuinuka kwa watu. You know ceilings? Ceilings ambazo zinazuia watu. Remember, nimesema umeripa gharama ya kuinuka lakini uinuki You see? A genuine man of God. Mtumishi wa kweli wa Mungu. Should be able to look at the people he's ministering to. Anapaswa kuona watu ambao anahudumia. And should be able to see things. Na anapaswa kuona mambo. If you can see things. Kama uwezi kuona mambo. Ya watu ambao unahudumiwa, you don't unahudumia, you don't qualify to minister to them. Kama sasa ninaona vitu lakini mimi si mwonaji. Lakini naona vitu. Mimi si muoni. Lakini naona vitu tu. 
naona wengine wenu ambao mmekaa hapa you are seats viti vyenu are supposed to be in a very high positions vinapaswa kuwa nafasi ya juu sana limitation vizuizi limitation vizuizi umeripa gharama ya ukweli gharama umeripa sacrifices you make umefanya investment wengine wenu maombi yote yanaombangwa umeomba umeomba ya 3 days umeomba ya, umeomba ya 7 days umeomba ya 14 days umeomba ya 21 days umeomba ya 36 days umeenda hata ya 40 sasa unaongojea 60 we won't wait until you get there hatutangoja mpaka ufike hapo no you 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 may be laughing Unaweza cheka but i may be describing somebody right now lakini naweza kuwa naelezea mtu saa hizi yani gharama umelipa lakini i reflect ceilings vizuizi pa iso iso episodes mbili tumesoma if you look at them carefully ukiziangalia kwa makini wote waliwekewa ceiling juu yao unaona hivyo mawe ikawekwa Yesu fufuka lakini kutana na hiyo siri usitoke wengine wenu Mungu anaongojea utokee hivi tu na atakuwa ameposition watu strategically maisha yako i change but the enemy want you stay there lakini ndio anataka ukae maana kuna paa kuna siri siri number 2 i'm trying to conclude kwa sentence moja ya kwamba limitation Mzuzi. ni wakati kuna ceilings ambazo zina compromise your rising sasawa limitation pia vizuizi pia ni restrictions ni za kule, progress kule kuzuiliwa kusonga mbele yes tunaweza kumalizia hivyo you doing good Si tumemalizia vizuri. Yes, limitation. Vizuizi. Limitations. Vizuizi. It's a very secretive weapon the enemy uses. Ni siri ya ni ni, ni silaha ya kisiri ambayo adui anatumia. Limitation. Vizuizi. A very secret weapon silaha ambayo ni ya kisiri sana and a very effective weapon lakini silaha ambayo iko na matokeo mengi if satan mind an attempt of using the same weapon of jesus kama shetani alijaribu kutumia hii silaha kwa yesu he knows it's an effective weapon anajua ni silaha yenye matokeo to limit kuzuia we can't stop you from resurrecting hatuwezi kuzuia ufufuke we don't have that authority hatuna hayo mamlaka but we can engage the weapon we have lakini tuweza usisha silaha tuliyo nayo we can limit you tunaweza kuzuia limitation comes in different forms vizuizi huu kuja na namna mbalimbali do you know je unajua when people lie about you wakati watu wanadanganya kukuhusu they want to limit you wanataka kukuzuia When people misrepresent you. Wakati watu wanakuwakilisha usivyo. They are limiting you. Wanakuzuia. They are stopping you. They are stopping certain people to do business with you. Wanasimamisha watu fulani wasifanye biashara na wewe. So limitation comes in different forms. Kwa hivyo vizuizi inakuja na namna tofauti tofauti. So today. Kwa hivyo siku leo. For 3 minutes. Kwa dakika tatu. We are going to attack every form of limitation with everything that we are tutaenda kushambulia aina yote ya vizuizi na kila kitu tuko nacho we are going after the enemy with everything that we are tunamfuata adui na kila kitu ambacho tuko nacho yes limitation vizuizi you have paid the cost umelipa gharama you have invested umewekeza you have made all the necessary sacrifices umefanya dhabihu zote ambazo zinahitajika but it doesn't reflect lakini haionekani and time is going na wakati unapita can i tell you something je naweza kuambia kitu the problem with the limitation shida na kizuizi is that it is steals time from you ni kwamba inakuibia wakati kutoka kwako yes kumbuka kuna mambo ambayo 
they are connected to timing in life kuna mambo ambayo imeunganishwa na wakati wa nyakati za maisha kuna mambo unapaswa kufanya between 27 and 37 sasa limitation inataka iibe hiyo 10 years. Hiyo miaka 10 ikibiwa zile accomplishment zote zilipaswa kufanyika those 10 years zimeibiwa. So limitation hivyo kizuizi is not only stopping you. Haikikusimamishi pekee. It's stealing time from you. Kinakuibia wakati. By now. Kwa sasa you are supposed to be here. Unapaswa kuwa mahali hapa. And you are here. Na uko hapa. Look at the time. Angalia wakati. Uliza mtu una miaka mingapi sasa? Yule unakaa ukisema there is time. Una miaka mingapi? You keep saying there is time. Unakaa ukisema kuna wakati. Remember, kumbuka You can make more money. Unaweza pata pesa mingi. You can make more clothes. Unaweza pata nguo nyingi. You can make more wealth. Unaweza pata utajiri mwingi. You can make more time. Hauwezi kuwa na wakati mwingi. Uliza mtu tu vizuri kiurafiki. Vile unasema kuna time, una miaka mingapi sasa? You see ninataka mtu akasirike. Saa hii I am 33. Ninapaswa kuwa kwa nyumba yangu. Bando ninalipa rent. What is wrong? Am I saying something? Lift up your hand. Inua mikono yako. Say in the name of Jesus. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. Say like you mean it in the name of Jesus. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. By the spirit of prophecy. Kupitia roho ya unabii. And the power of God. Na nguvu ya Mungu. I attack. Nashambulia. Every form of limitation. Bila aina ya kizuizi. Affecting my life. Ambayo inaathiri maisha yangu. Today. Leo. With everything I have. Na kila kitu niko nacho. I attack. Nashambulia. The forces of limitation. Nguvu za vizuizi. I give you Three minutes to fire that prayer. Nakupa dakika tatu ufanye haya maombi. Wengine wenu mumeripa gharama mumefanya kila kitu. Makana mokosata. I attack. Nashambulia. Limitation. Vizuizi. Whatever form it has been taken. Aina yote ambayo imekuwa inachukua. Today. Leo. I attack. Nashambulia. Limitation. Vizuizi. Somebody spray. Kuna mtu anaomba. Please don't close your mouth now. Usifunge mdomo wako sasa. Please don't pray like you don't believe it. Tafadhali usiombe kama uamini. Today. Leo. I attack. Nashambulia. The spirit of limitation. Roho ya vizuizi. Whatever is limiting my life. Zote kinazuia maisha yangu. Limiting my family. Nazuia familia yangu. Limiting my career. Nazuia taaluma yangu. Today. Leo. I attack limitation. Nashambulia vizuizi. By the power of the spirit kupitia nguvu ya roho lift up your voice inua sauti yako lift up your voice inua sauti yako attack limitation shambulia vizuizi attack limitation shambulia vizuizi with everything that you are na kila kitu uko nacho kama na maana soka to yeke teke 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 te shenna shenna baruta kapara to sata we are breaking through we are breaking through Is the night of breakthrough. Limitation in my spiritual life. Vizuizi katika maisha yangu ya kiroho. Limitation in my finances. Vizuizi kwa fedha zangu. Fight with everything that you are. Pigana na kila kitu uko nacho. Fight limitation. Pigana na vizuizi. We have to go, we have to go. Lazima tuende. We have to be released and go. Lazima tuachiliwe na tuende. We must be released and go. Lazima tuachiliwe na tuende. Go to our destiny. Twende katika hatima zetu. We must be released and go. Lazima tuachiliwe na tuende. We attack limitation. Kwa shambulia vizuizi. We break the power of limitation. Tufunje nguvu ya vizuizi. Pray, pray, pray. Za 
Kata la bakata ba. Jabanda banda banda banda. I'm telling you something is breaking. Kuna kitu kina munjika. Something is breaking today. Kitu kina munjika leo. Something is breaking today. Kitu kina munjika leo. Your investment will not go in vain. Wekeza kwa kwa kuta kwa bure. Your sacrifices will not go like that. Kami uza kwa zita kwa tu bure. The investments you have made will not just go like that. Wekeza mba kume panya kuta ene tu bure. The cost that you are paid will not just will not just go like that. Garama mba umeni pa haita potea tu hindo. Let the limitation be broken. What a vizuizi vunju vunjike. Limitation be broken. Vizuizi vunjike. By the working of the spirit. Kupiti ya kwenye kazi kwa roho. Limitation be broken. Vizuizi vunjike. Limitation be broken. Vizuizi vunjike. Limitation be broken. Vizuizi vunjike. Financial limitation. Vizuizi vya kifela. Family limitation. Vizuizi vya kifamilia. Career limitation. Is this the Italian? Spiritual limitation. Is this the Akira? Be broken today. Unji kale. Be broken today. Unji kale. We cross the line. Sunapu kami line. We cross the line. Sunapu kami paka. We cross the boundary. Sunapu kami paka. Every line the the enemy has drawn. Ina line ya baby ya mechora. We cross today. Sunapu kale. Every ceiling is being torn into pieces. We are rising. Every stone is being rolled away. Every stone is being rolled away. Every stone is being rolled away. You will arise. You will arise. The stone is being removed. 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 They are removing the grave clothes. You are being released. Abanda banaka. Shekere beketo bopete ya. Latuta tuta ta 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 ta. Jakamana mokosete yere boto prodia. Lekete sata para tana namaka. Limitation in Chuka. Vizuizi apa Chuka. Limitation in Darakanivi County. Vizuizi Darakanivi County. You are collapsing today. Una angu kaleo. Whatever limits the church. Sasa teki na zui ya kanisa. In Darakanivi County. Katika county ya Darakanivi. Whatever limits believers. Sasa teki na zui ya waumini. In Darakanivi County. Katika county ya Darakanivi. Whatever limits people. Sasa teki na zui ya watu. In Darakanivi County. Katika county ya Darakanivi. Broken today. The limitation that is fighting. Wanda Vestuka. You are collapsing today. Limitation. Are breaking. 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 Limitations are breaking. Limitations are breaking. Yes. We attack with everything that we are. Kwa shambulia na kila kitu tuko nacho. We attack with everything that we are. Kwa shambulia na kila kitu tuko nacho. Fight, fight. Pigana, pigana. Fight. Pigana. Don't listen to your body. Usisikize mwili wako. Don't listen to your body. Usisikize mwili wako. Fight and break through. Pigana na upenye. Hiyo limitation. Hizo vizuizi. Hiyo is what has stopped you from having what you should have. Hiyo imekuzuia kupata kile unastahili kuwa nacho. As in that you are break through. Imezuia upenye wako. As in that you are husband. Imezuia mume wako. As in that you are wife. Imezuia mke wako. Has hindered you from getting married the right time. I must wait a while to go and get my own style. Has hindered you from getting married the right time. I must wait a while to get my own style. Fight, fight. Pigana, pigana. Fight, pigana. Limitation will not hinder me. This is your vision, this is your. Ere 
Rebocosata Ereketetetetetete Tara 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 Baruta Manakata Paradise Career limitation is being removed. Financial limitation is being removed. Family limitations are being removed. It is today. We can take it to another day. It is today. That limitation must break. It is today. You must be let go. You must let you must be let go. You must be let go. The ceiling must be removed. 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 We must be let go. We must be let go. We must go to our destinies. We must go to our houses. We must go to our positions. We must go to our ranks. Roll away the stone. Roll away the stone. Roll away the stone. Akala bakata. Shata la bara la bari. Yekete kete kete kete. Yato to 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 to. Yete te 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 te. It is happening today. In Kaleo. Pastor, don't let your ministry go on like this. Don't let your ministry go on like this. Don't let your career go on like this. Don't let your business go on like this. I break the power of limitation. The stones are being rolled away. The stones are being rolled away. We must be let go. 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 The stones must be run away. Look. Tazama. Let me show you how spiritual this matter was. Let me show you. Chapter 28 of Matthew. Let me request everybody to stand at this point. Now a 
after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. Baada ya Sabato siku ya kwanza ilipofika, Mariamu Magdalene na Mariamu mwenzake wakaja katika kaburi. Now look at this. Tazama. And behold, Natazama. there was great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came. Na the stone Jiwe. could not be undone by man. And in the heaven, bingu. to tell you, look. What is natural? Kile ambacho ni cha kawaida. God will let men deal with it. Mungu atacha watu washughulikie. What is not natural? Kile ambacho si cha kawaida. Is only heaven that can handle it. Ni mbingu tu inaweza shughulikia. The angel descended from heaven. Malaika akashuka kutoka mbinguni. To deal with the stone. Kushughulikia lile jiwe. To tell you that it was not just natural. Kukwambia haikuwa jambo la kawaida. To deal with the stone. Kushughulikia lile jiwe. Descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door. Akashuka kutoka mbinguni na akaja akavingirisha lile jiwe kutoka katika malango. <laughs> Look, some of you. Wengi wenu, you are doors. Malango yenu are due. Imefika. But stones are there. Lakini kuna mawe pale. At the door. Pale katika mlango. And remember. Nakumbuka. Doors. Milango are links. Ni viunganisho. If you want to enter this church, kama unataka kuingia katika kanisa hili, you can't enter through the roof. Hauwezi ingia juu ya paa. It's illegal. Haikubaliki. You can't enter through the window. Hauwezi ingia kupitia dirisha unless you are a thief. Pengine wewe ni mwizi. You enter through doors. Unaingia kupitia milango. Join the hand with somebody next to you. Shika mkono wa mwenzako. You are going to sow a seed. Unaenda kupanda mbegu. A seed of prayer. Mbegu ya maombi. I want us pray. Nataka tuombe that every stone kwamba kila jiwe at the gate of the destiny of that person. Katika malango ya hatima ya huyo mtu. Today. Leo by the supernatural. Kupitia mambo ya kaosi ya kawaida. Let the stones be rolled away. Wacha lile jiwe livingirishwe. Let the stones be Rod away. What a mawe ya vingirisho. And let God's people be let go. Na wacha watu wa Mungu waachiliwe. Go and pray for that person. Obe huyo mtu sasa. Stones. Mawe at the doors of your destiny. Katika malango ya hatima yako. Stones. Mawe at the doors of the, their destiny. Katika hatima ya hati. Pray the way you would want to be prayed for. Omba vile unavyotaka kuombewa. Pray for them. Waombe hizo mawe ziondolewe let the stones be rolled away wacha mawe yaondolewe whatever is at the door of your destiny chochote kiko katika mlango ya hatima yako hinder the progress of your destiny inazuia kwenda mbele kwa hatima yako be rolled away kiondolewe 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 Kila jiwe at the gates of their destiny. Katika malango ya hatima yao. Let them be rolled away. Wote yaondolewe. The stone. Mawe at the gates of their destiny. Katika malango ya hatima yao. Be rolled away. Yaondolewe. The angel rolled the stone and sat on it. Malaika liondoa jiwe na kaketia. Pray, pray. Pray for them. Pray the way you would desire to be prayed for. Omba vile ungetamani kuombewa. Pray like you believe in the prayer you are making. Pray like you believe in the prayer you are making. Omba kama unaamini maombi ambayo unaomba. Pray. Omba. Pray. Omba. Yes, listening. Anakusikiza. To your prayer. Anasikiza maombi yako. Today. Leo. We decree. Tunatangaza. The stones. Mawe. The stones. Mawe. The demonic stones. Mawe ya kipepo. The demonic ceilings. Spa ya kipepo. At the gates of their destiny.
destiny. Be run away. Be run away. It's our time to be let go. It is our time to be let go. It is our time to be let go. It is our time to be let go. Let the stone be run away. Let the stone by the supernatural be run away. Yes, the stones are being run away. 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 Stones are the gates of our destiny. Are being rolled away. Are being rolled away. Limitation in our finances. Limitation in our plans. Limitation in our families. Limitation in our careers. Limitation in our businesses. Limitation in our spiritual life. Limitation. Sharamane kosa yere re 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 bo 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 ya kabagadis. This is the day you have been waiting for. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. This is Yes. Yes. 
Yes! Now, lift up those hands. The Lord told me. The Lord told me. There are explosives Kuna milipuko that have been waiting ngoja to explode. Kulipuka. Lift up those hands. Inuwa yako and please lift them like you are lifting to the Lord. Kama buana. Every stone. Kila jiwe. At the gate of your destiny. That can't allow your destiny. To be what they are supposed to be. Be rolled away. Be rolled away. Be rolled away. Generational limitation. Family limitation. Whatever you current from your bloodline. Whatever you current from where you come from. Whatever you current from where you got married. Right now. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Destroy every limitation. Destroy every limitation. Destroy every limitation. I stretch the right hand of God. Every area of your life that was bound by limitation today, Leo, on behalf of Jesus, I let you go. I let you go. I let you go. I let you go. I let the wound of a suka go. Go to the next level. Go to the next dimension. Go to higher dimension. Go. 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 I speak on behalf of Jesus. Let them go. 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 Mandaka Barusata. Anything that has been holding an area of your life is letting you go now is letting you go right now letting you go right now letting you go right now every ceiling on top of your life every covering on top of your life every satanic blanket that is covering you so that you are not visible so that the right people doesn't see you so that the right people doesn't hear you I tear that blanket into pieces I tear that blanket into pieces I blow off that cover in the name of Jesus I blow off that cover in the name of Jesus I let you today on behalf of Jesus I let you into your destiny I let you into your full manifestation manifest fully manifest fully Manifest fully. You will not go halfway. You will go all the way. As any will not go halfway. 
njia nusu. You will go all the way. Utaenda njia kamilifu. All the way. Njia kamilifu. All the way. Njia kamilifu. Akabarata sata. Hey, kayusha sata ba. Limitations I hear the sound. Nasikia sauti. It's like the rocks cracking. Ni kama miamba inavunjika. Limitations are breaking. Vizuizi vinavunjika. Breaking. Vunjika. Breaking. Vunjika. Breaking. Vunjika. Limitations are breaking. Vizuizi vinavunjika. What limited your mother? Kile kilizuia mama yako. We are not limit you. Hakita kuzuia. What limited your parents? Kile kilizuia wazazi wako. We are not limit you. Hakita kuzuia. Limitations are breaking. Vizuizi vinavunjika. The rocks are breaking. Miamba inavunjika. The rocks are breaking. Miamba inavunjika. The rocks are breaking. Miamba inavunjika. I'm telling you. Nakwambia. It is happening. Inatendeka. Lift up those hands and receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Pokea. I release it upon you. Nayachilia juu yako. Receive it. Pokea. Receive it. Pokea. Receive it in totality. Pokea ikiwa kamilifu. Receive it in totality. Pokea kwa ukamilifu. I stretch the right hand of God. Nayosha mkono wa 10 wa Mungu. Receive it in totality. Pokea kwa ukamilifu. Receive it in totality. Pokea kwa ukamilifu. Receive it in full. Pokea in full. In full. Akuna manusu manusu tena. Akuna manusu manusu tena. Akuna manusu manusu tena. Now, our time is up. We got to close. Take your seat. I stand on behalf of Jesus to declare in the name of Jesus you will not have fruitless labor. I said you will not have fruitless labor. The cost you are paying I call the former rain and the latter rain to come together. Let two seasons come together to you. Take your seat. I just want to mention, give me five minutes and I'll be done. Just five minutes. Dakika tano. Just to mention, because something else will tomorrow will be handling something else. Kutaja tu mana kisha kutakuwa tunashugulikia jambo lingine. Give us Exodus chapter three. Mati kutoka sura ya tatu. Don't mind me. Don't mind me the way I'm doing things. Just, just flow. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law. Musa alikuwa anachunga kondoo wa baba mke wake Jethro. The priest of Midian. Kuhani wa Midiani. And he learned the flock. Look at that. And he learned the flock. Na akaongoza kondoo to the back of the desert. Nyuma ya jangwa. And came na akaja to Oreb. Katika Horeb, Horeb. The mountain of God. Mlima wa Mungu. Ladies and gentlemen. Mabibi na mabwana. If we will activate our bunny bush kama tutachochea kichaka chetu kinachowaka moto God is looking for seriousness from us Mungu anatazama kuona kujitolea kwetu kutoka kwetu seriousness kumaanisha what is seriousness kumaanisha ni nini greater attention umemakinika kwa njia kuu some of us wengi wetu has not given our issues the attention they deserve hatujapatia hali zetu kumakinika ambayo inastahili 
you are just going on with your life generally the day you give destiny issues the seriousness it needs no matter the size of the challenge it will melt like wax this is not normal chef funding the man did not care Hakujali. how long it will take to go back he traveled and traveled in the desert Jangwani. until the top of the mountain that is a serious shepherd he is giving what he is doing greater attention some of you you are allowing your life to flow with gravity your life is just flowing you are not even thinking about it listen things respond ah thank you Jesus things respond to you depending on the attention you give them kulingana na umakinifu ambao unapatia yale mambo did you hear that? Je, umesikia hiyo? Things respond to you. Mambo yatajibu kwako depending on the attention you give them. Kulingana na kumakinika ambako utapatia yale mambo. Yes. It begins with greater attention. Inaanza na kumakinika kuku. Yes. Greater attention. Kumakinika kuku. What is this? Ni nini hii? What is this troubling my life? Nini hii ambayo inasumbua maisha yangu? Why why are things like this? Kwa nini mambo yako namna hii? How long will things go on like this? Itakuwa kwa muda mgani mambo yatabaki akiwa namna hii? God send me down here to challenge you today. Mungu amenituma hapa nikutie changamoto leo. Whatever it is that you want to break through. Chochote ambacho unataka kupenya. Give it greater attention. Ipatie kumakinika kuku. Gravity gravity when the car goes by gravity wakati gari linaenda kulingana na gravity a can go up hill haiwezi panda mlima some of us our lives wengi wetu maisha yetu tumeiachilia iteremke tu mungu akinipatia anipatia sipo nipatia twende mbele yeah huyo bwana akuje asipokuja wacha niendelee na mungu unahitaji Mungu na unahitaji hizo vitu zingine zipatie attention greater attention kumakinika kuku this is not normal shepherding usio uchungaji tu wa kawaida wachungaji wa kawaida hawapandangi mpaka wa milima juu wachungaji wa kawaida hawasafiriki kihivyo the Bible says he went until until that means in safari mrefu. Biblia inasema alienda mpaka kumaanisha ni safari ndefu. He came to the Oreb. Akafika Horebu. Yes. Do you know when you give your issues greater attention? Ukipatia mambo yako kumakinika kuku. You end up discovering what you are not looking for. Utaishia kutambua mambo ambayo hata huko unatafuta. He was not looking for the mountain of God. He was just a serious shepherd. Alikuwa mchungaji amemaanisha. No wonder Jethro loved him. Ndio maana Jethro alipenda. No wonder God trusted him now to shepherd people. Ndio maana Mungu alimwaminia sasa achunge watu. You have shepherded the sheep seriously. Umechunga kondoo kwa kumaanisha vizuri. Now I can trust you to shepherd people. Sasa naweza kukuamini uchunge watu. What attention are you giving your issues? Unapatia mambo yako kumakinika kwa aina gani? Have you allowed things to flow? Je, umekubalia mambo tu yaende vile yanaenda? The attention you give that issue. Kumakinika ambako utapatia hiyo hali is what determines the answer you get from it. Ndio inaamua jibu ambalo utapata kutoka katika hiyo hali. What attention are you giving your issues? Ni kumakinika kugani unapatia hali yako? 
There are places ordinary servants can't go. Kuna mahali ambapo wachungaji wa kawaida hawezi kaenda. Seriousness. Kumakinika. Some of us. Wengi wetu. We have given options where we are not supposed to give options. Tumetoa You know options? They are not, these people understand, don't worry. Yes. Options. Options. It can either happen like this. Waweza fanya hivi ama ufanye hivi. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. When you don't have many options. Wakati huna mambo mengi ya kuchagua. Things happen easily. Mambo utendeka kwa haraka. If I don't get a job. Kama sitapata kazi. My uncle will help me. Mjomba wangu atanisaidia. Maybe that is why you don't have a job until now. Pengine ndio maana huna kazi mpaka sasa. Because you have many options. Maana uko na mambo mengi ya kuchagua. God waited until Sarah and Abraham had no other options. Mungu alingojea mpaka Sarah na Abraham hawakuwa na mambo mengi ya kuchagua. Now listen. Sikiza. When you go for other options. Ukienda kwa mambo mengine ya kuchagua. When the will of God is known, you create trouble. Wakati ma- ma- mapenzi ya Mungu hayako pale unakuwa na shida kubwa. No, when the will of God is known. Wakati mapenzi ya Mungu yanajulikana. And you look for another option. Na utafute namna namna nyingine. You are creating problems not only for yourself but also for others. Unajitengenezea shida na pia unatengenezea wengine shida. Sasa nataka usalimie mtu. Mwambie be serious. Give your issues greater attention. Patia hali zako kumakinika kukuu. Yes. Wengine wetu tumekaa kwa level moja spiritually because we have never given our spiritual lives serious attention. Wengine tumekaa katika kiwango kimoja cha kiroho kwa maana hatujapatia mambo ya shaitu ya kiroho kumakinika kukuu. Have you given your career attention? Je, umepatia taaluma yako kumakinika? Greater attention. Kumakinika kukuu where you tell yourself is now or never mali unajiambia ni sasa na sio tena it has to lazima itendeke it ha- there must be a way lazima kuwe na njia they stood before the sea walisimama mbele ya bahari there had to be a way lazima kungekuwa na njia hawezi rundi misri hawana njia ya kutorokea lazima kupatikane njia naomba mungu akufikishe hapo yani usimame mbele ya rendi sea mali ambapo unasema lazima kutakuwa na njia hapa kumakinika kuku Luke tazama ukiona Musa akilia Musa <laughs> Musa si wana wa Israeli aliangi ovyo ovyo akulia mbele ya farao akulia mbele ya farao lakini alipofika mbele ya Red Sea na jeshi iko nyuma akalia hiki <laughs> kitu kinafanya mzee alie ni kitu serious inaitwa greater attention inaitwa kumakinika kuku telling god anamwambia mungu if you don't make a way here kama utatengeneza njia hapa we are we are as good as dead people sisi ni watu tu wamekufa tayari so there has to be a way kwa hivyo lazima kuwe na njia i came today nimekuja leo with some grace on my head na neema katika kichwa changu declaring in the name of the one who sent me kutangaza kwa jina ya yule aliyenituma this time wakati huu there will be a way for you kutakuwa na njia kwa sababu yako there will be a way for you kutakuwa na njia yako there will be a way for you kutakuwa na njia yako mr man give your career greater attention patia taaluma yako kumakinika kuku don't take it casual usichukulie tu kawaida you are god's representative wewe ni mwakilishi wa mungu your career is a tool of god taaluma yako ni chombo kwenye cha mungu give it the attention it needs patia kumakinika ambako kunahitajika you want god to use you mightily unataka mungu akutumie kwa njia kuu give your spiritual life greater attention patia maisha yako ya kiroho kumakinika kuku look at moses angalia musa is an look if you are not attentive in life kama hautamakinika maishani you will lose a lot of things utapoteza mambo mengi let me put it this way wacha niseme hivi whatever you deny your best attention chochote ambacho utakosa kupatia kumakinika kwako will not attend to you well hakita kushughulikia vizuri let me close this way wacha nifunge namna hii How many people can feel that they are bush 
is about to catch fire. Watu wangapi wanaishi kichaka chao kiko karibu kuchomeka sasa? You will need number 2. Utahitaji jambo la pili. You will need to stretch yourself. Itabidi ujikaze ujinyooshe. Remember. Kumbuka every one of us here. Kila mmoja wetu hapa. If you are a child, oh thank you Jesus. If you are a child of God. Kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. You are elastic. Wewe ni elastic. You can stretch without breaking. Unaweza vutika bila kukatika. Wengine wetu hapo ndipo Mungu anatuongojea. U stretch. Mungu anakuongojea ujivute. Stretch. Yes. I have had several experiences of this nature. Nilikuwa na mapatano mengi ya aina hii. I kept praying for certain things. Singeombea mambo fulani, linaendelea kuombea mambo fulani. There's a thing that I saw in around my life. Kuna kitu niliona katika maisha yangu. I was praying. Nilikuwa naomba. And one day, na siku moja, I decided. Nikaamua. It's now. Ni sasa. Na sio mara siku moja tena. First time in my lifetime. Kwa mara ya kwanza katika maisha yangu. I prayed for 11 hours non-stop. Nikaomba masaa kumi na moja bila kukoma. By the time I was ending. Wakati nilipokuwa namalizia. I knew that thing is gone forever. Nilijua hilo jambo limeondoka milele. Tell somebody stretch. Muombe mwenzako jinyooshe. He to that day maybe God was waiting to manifest himself to Moses every day. Pengine Mungu alikuwa anangojea kujidisha kwa Musa kila siku. But the day they happened. Lakini siku iliyotendeka. Is the day he traveled. Ni siku ambayo alisafiri. This is not average journey of a shepherd. Hii sio safari ya kawaida ya mchungaji. He went to the back side of the desert. Akaenda nyuma ya jangwa. Everybody else was going to the desert. Kila mtu alikuwa anaenda jangwani. It is only one that went to the back of the desert. Ni mmoja pekee aliyeenda nyuma ya jangwa. That is the one that experienced the burning bush. Huyo ndiye aliyekuwa na patano na kichaka kinachowaka moto. Stretch. Alijivuta. You keep saying I've done everything. Unakaa ukisema nimefanya kila kitu. I am 100% sure. Niko na uhakikisho 100%. You have not done everything. Haujafanya kila kitu. Pastor nimefanya kila kitu. Kila kitu including what? Umejifungia nyumba ukaambia wengine. Sitoki kwa hii nyumba mpaka nitoke naanza. Na mkisikia hakuna movement na hakuna sauti, mkuja mumbebe mtu mpeleke kaburini. Kwa sababu afadhali kwenda namna hiyo kuliko kukaa na vitu kama hizi. You are saying you have done everything. No. Unasema umefanya kila kitu hapana. You have not done everything. Haujafanya kila kitu. You have not. Haujafanya. You have not. Haujafanya. You have not. Haujafanya. And every time you keep confessing you have done what you have not done, you become comfortable in your mess. Na kila wakati unakiri umefanya kile ambacho hujafanya unakuwa sawa katika makosa yako. You have not done everything. Haujafanya kila kitu. Tiel Osborne. Tiel Osborne. Of the blessed memory. Aliyepumzika. He went to India. Alienda India. And the Muslims and Hindus humiliated him. Na Waislamu na Wahindi wakamdhalilisha. He went back to America ashamed. Akarudi Marekani akiwa ameibika. He told his wife, this is where his international ministry was born. Hapa ndipo huduma yake ya kimataifa ilipozaliwa. He told his wife, akamwambia mke wake, take over the church. Chukua usukani wa kanisa. If I don't come back. Kama sitarejea, take care of the church. Chunga kanisa. He closed himself in the house. Akajifungia kwa nyumba. In the way they could not break into that house. Kwa njia ambayo hawangevunja katika ile nyumba. He said if I don't come out. Akasema kama sitatoka. Go on with the ministry. Endeleza huduma. Reverend friend. Ukiambia mama blessing hivyo. Mungu hata hata ongojea ufike siku ile. <laughs> Siku ya tatu Jesus himself Yesu mwenyewe appeared to him akajitokeza kwake 
and through his life in ministry na kupitia maisha yake katika huduma his meetings were not ordinary mikutano yake haikuwa ya kawaida literally jesus used to appear physically in his meetings yesu alikuwa anatokea kwa kuonekana katika mikutano yake ilizaliwa wapi a man who was willing to stretch mtu ambaye alikuwa tayari kujivuta nothing great is born in comfort hakuna kitu kikuu kinazaliwa mahali ambapo unastareka yes women don't give back to children laughing wa mama huwa wazai watoto wakiwa wanacheka ask mothers uliza wa mama they are not in a bible fellowship wako katika ushirika wa biblia nothing of value and great is born in comfort hakuna kitu cha thamana na ambacho ni kikuu kinazaliwa mahali ambapo umetulia tu kustareka why do you want comfort before you arrive kwa nini unataka kustareka kabla hujafika unajua sasa unasema sasa umetotoa kwa ile kiroho tulikuwa nayo sasa hii ndio kiroho ya yenyewe hii hii angalia mtu mwambie stretch. Mwambie mwenzako jinyoshe jivute. Stretch. You can't break you are elastic. Hawezi vunjika. Hear this. Kiza. People who say. Watu ambao husema. If I perish, I perish. Iwapo nitaangamia wacha niangamie. They end up not perishing. Huwa hawaangamii mwishowe. Jews would have been terminated. Wayahudi wangemalizwa. If there was nobody to say. Kama kungekuwa na mtu wa kusema. If I die. Kama nitakufa. Let me die doing something. Watanikufe nikifanya kitu. Stretch. Kujikaza, kujivuta. How much? How much? Hii issue ya familia yenu. Hii issue that ya familia. Na sema umefanya kila kitu. Umewahi fast straight days siku ngapi? jivute attempt what you have never attempted jaribu kile ambacho hujawahi jaribu do things that people will hear fanya vitu ambavyo watu watasikia and they will tell you you are a risk taker na wakwambia wewe una unahatarisha wewe ni mtu anahatarisha maisha wewe ni mtu wa kuhatarisha maisha inside risks ndani ya kuhatarisha are things of value kuna mambo ya thamana stretch jivute ndivyo Mungu aliniambia nije niwaambie stretch jivute you want to see the supernatural unataka kuona mambo ambayo si ya kawaida it doesn't happen on the surface haitendeki tu hapa sakafuni you want God to begin talking to people about you unataka kuona Mungu akiongea na watu kukuhusu not on the periphery sio tu hapa chini chini you want God to command somebody look You want God to command somebody from America? Unataka Mungu amrishe mtu kutoka Marekani? Alipe air ticket? Alipe gharama ya ndege? Akuje mpaka tharaka nidhi? Akitafuta wewe? With the way you are doing things? Na vile ambavyo unafanya mambo? With the prayer you make under the blanket and say amen in the morning? Na maombi ambayo unafanya chini ya blanketi kisha unasema amina asubuhi? Itatoa mtu kutoka Marekani? Hata hebu hawezi toka na hiyo maombi. You want God to send somebody to you? Unataka Mungu akutumie mtu kwako? To change your life forever? Abadilisha maisha yako milele? With the kind of the effort you are putting? Na aina ya jitihada ambazo unaweka. One of my daughter told me, I have done many applications. I told her you have done you have not done many enough if you have not applied a thousand times. Mmoja wa binti wangu akaniambia nimetafuta kazi mara mingi kamwambia hujafanya mingi kama hujatafuta mara elfu moja afanya application na elfu moja alafu kuja kanisani mwambie Mungu hata wewe umeona nimeapply a thousand times nimejaribu mara elfu moja remember he said i will make you a thousand times more kumbuka alisema nitakufanya mara elfu moja zaidi nimesema nimeapply sana na sasa hiyo umesema umeapply sana you have just done eight applications eight application ni nani hawezi kufanya eight application umetuma mambo ya kazi nani if you want life to answer to you 
break the records. Do what they are not doing in average. Stretch. Stretch. Seven days. Day and night. Nitajaribu. Mungu nisaindia nitajaribu. Siwezi kubali mama uiendelee hivi. Let me tell you. Acha nikwambie. The things I'm telling you. Mama mwana kwambia. I've worked for me. Yamenifanyia kazi. My background is terrible. Historia yangu ni mbaya sana. Some of these principles I'm teaching is what has changed my life. Kanuni hizi ambazo nafunza ni hizo ambazo zimebadilisha maisha yangu. Yes. One day I fasted so much sleeping on the ground like this. The day I stood like this, I end up black out for 3 hours. If look. Mungu akiangalia your track record, anaona nini na nini? Yangu anaona paka blackout. Yako akiangalia zile vitu umepitia ili yale mambo unataka ya change ya change ataona vitu vingapi. Now you are saying you have done everything. Na unasema umefanya kila kitu. Yes. One day I kept telling my wife about clothes the way I don't buy clothes she doesn't buy these days even now she entered in that realm so one day she went to her wardrobe and akafagia squeeze it everywhere Baka watu wanatumana kutoka ngambo aletewe nguo. Unasema kona ba? Kwa sababu ameolewa na bishop. <laughs> Kufagia one drop ni bishop. Angalia mtu mwambie stretch. Mwambie mwenzako jinyoshe. Stretch. Jinyoshe. Can you imagine ref? If this church, kama ili kanisa, fifty people alone, watu amsini peke, wanamua, wamue, for five days, kwa siku tano, every hour, kila lisa, iko namuto, kuna muto, baka kitu kifanyike. Rev will tell you, Rev ata kuambia, every time there was a serious thing that was being handled here, kila wakati kulikuwa na jambo ambalo linashughulikiwa hapa, it is not favor that changed things. Sio kibali kilibadilisha mambo. It is stretching that changed things. Ni kujinyosha kulibadilisha mambo. Yes. Siku moja nilimkuta hapa ame fast. Nikamuuliza yule umekuwa mgonjwa ama wote said but I knew he's not sick. Nilijua sio mgonjwa. Ananiambia amefanya siku tatu dry. Hakuna maji, hakuna chakula, hakuna Uliza mwenza kwa wewe Wewe Vini unapenda mnye 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 That is why some things are not happening for you Nyo sababu mamo mingine ya kutendekei Si umependa ugali sana Baka mkawa marafiki Yaani mpaka mmefenda mmependana na food. Mpaka hata ukikosa breakfast tunashangaa. Unaangaa leo hujakula breakfast kweli? Mimi no Mimi naona tumalizie hapa. Lakini <laughs> Lakini Mungu anataka tupatie vitu zetu greater attention na to stretch Amen. stretch jinyoshi yeah. i keep pushing her wana kani kimskuma and every time i push her i know something new will be born na kila wakati namskuma najua kuna kitu kipya kitazaliwa you can't stay around me comfortably 
if you love average life. Uwezi kana mimi karibu na mimi kama unapenda tu maisha tu ya usawa. Ya usawa. Waambia tu maisha ya average hivi. Maisha ya average. Yes. Maisha tu ya average. Niko na chakula, niko na nguo, nina brief, niko sawa. <laughs> Thank God for my life. <laughs> At thank you Jesus. Niko hai hata kama sina vitu lakini kuna watu wako hospitali. What are you talking about? Are you eh, at bora uai? Are you are you supposed to live in hospital? What are you telling us? <laughs> Maybe there is somebody who is dying there because you are failing. Pengine kuna mtu anakufa pale kwa sababu wewe unashindwa. Remember, Kumbuka. there are destinies tied to your success. Kuna hatima ambazo zimeunganishwa na ufanisi wako. If you don't succeed, you have failed those destinies. Kama hautafanikiwa, umekosesha hatima zingine. Stretch. Jinyoshe. Tunua mikono yetu juu. Inua mikono yetu juu. Tuambie Mungu atupatie neema na atusaidie ku stretch. Atupatie tu neema tuji stretch tujaribu vitu hatujawahi jaribu tena tufanye maombi hatujawahi fanya tena tufanye fasting ambao hatujawahi fanya tena lord nipatie neema ya ku stretch ya kupatia mambo yangu attention please lift up your voice and make that prayer make that prayer make that prayer make that prayer please lift up your voice and make that prayer father Baba, give me the grace to stretch to stretch to try what I've never tried to attempt what I've never attempted yes kumbuka unandiru na mungu inua iyo mikono miwiri kwa bana you are dealing with God mwambia kusaindie tu wacha itoke kwa mwoyo wako Mwambie bwana nisaidie kufanya kitu sijawahi fanya. Nisaidie ku fast vile sijawahi ku fast. Nisaidie ku stretch. Pray. Yes. Yes. Bwana kwa nipatie neema so that I will stretch. Father, release the grace for stretching in this church. Release the grace for people to stretch in this church. Release the grace and help for people to stretch in this church. Receive the grace, receive the grace. Pokea neema, pokea neema. Receive the help of God. Pokea wa Mungu. To do what you have never done before. Kufanya kile ambacho hujawahi pale awali. To attempt what you have never attempted. Kujaribu kile ambacho hujawahi jaribu. Somebody is praying in here. Oh God, help me to stretch. Help me to take responsibility. Give me the grace to attempt what I've never attempted. I know it is not easy to stretch. But God can help us. The grace can be available. Father. Baba, release the grace in church. For us to stretch. To try what we have never tried. To risk even our lives. Give us the spirit of Esther. The spirit that is not afraid to risk. 
for change to happen ili mabadiliko yatendeke oh god give us the grace e mungu tupatie neema we want to stretch tunataka kujinyosha we refuse this present situation tukata hii hali iliyoko we refuse this present level tukata kiwango hicho kilicho give us the grace to stretch tupatie neema ya kujivuta give us the grace to stretch tupatie neema ya kujikaza Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Now, before I close this service, once again, we wouldn't want to close before we give you an opportunity to make things right with Jesus. For this reason, he was put on the cross so that whoever believes in him may be saved. You are here today and you have never given your life to Jesus. You need to make things right now. Can we avoid movement at this point kindly? Very important. So, kama uko hapo unasema mchungaji ningependa uombe na mimi niweke maisha yangu sawa na Mungu niokoke anipatie maisha mapya hakuna mwanadamu anaweza kujibandilisha ni Yesu Kristo peke yake ana uwezo wa kubandilisha mwanadamu kwa hapa na unasema pasta omba na mimi nataka nimpatie bwana Yesu maisha yangu inua mkono wako nitaomba na wewe in where you are usipeleke siku ingine ni leo wewe ambaye unasema pasta omba na mimi ama pengine ulikuwa umeokoka kwa sababu ya mambo fulani ukarudi nyuma unatakikana kuweka mambo sawa na Mungu let me see that hand wacha nione hiyo mkono anywhere anywhere in the church thank you lord thank you father Thank you for what you are doing in this place. Asante kwa kile ambacho unafanya mahali hapa. Thank you for the things that you've done tonight. Asante kwa mambo ambayo umefanya usiku wa leo. You have changed our lives. Umebadilisha maisha yetu. You have provoked a new chapter in our lives. Umechochea kurasa mpya maishani mwetu. That which you want to do. Kile ambacho tunataka kufanya. No force will stop. Hakuna nguvu ambayo itasimamisha. Thank you Father. Asante Baba. Thank you Lord. Let's pack into our offerings quickly. As we serve the Lord. And tomorrow, listen to this. Tomorrow, I want to request every one of us get some oil. Yes. whatever size kiwango chochote the anointing oil anointing oil every one of us kila mmoja wetu there are things the lord has spoken to me concerning our families kuna kitu bwana amenyongelesha kuhusu familia zetu let me tell you wacha nikwambie after this program baada ya program hii there will be explosions in our families kutakuwa na milipuko katika familia zetu of the supernatural ya mambo yasiyo ya kawaida things that people will see and relate them to god mambo ambayo watu wataona na waunganishe na mungu so try your best kwa hivyo jaribu sana carry the anointing well beba mafuta buy it enda dukani ununue is worthy doing that ina staili kufanya hivyo we will be praying here tutakuwa tunaomba hapa you will go back with that oil utarejea na yale mafuta those of you are who are able to go to their homes in the village wale ambao wataweza kwenda nyumbani kwao ni kule vijijini after tomorrow baada ya kesho it will be good itakuwa mzuri 
Those who are not able to go now is fine. Ambao hamtaweza kwenda kwenda baada ya hii mkutano ni sawa. But in the way that oil will be used. Lakini popote yale mafuta yatatumika. That it relates with our families. Ambayo inahusiana na familia zetu. There will be explosions of the supernatural. Kutakuwa na milipuko ya mambo ambayo si ya kawaida. What I'm telling you. Amini kile ambacho nakwambia. All right. Eh, Rev you will come and eh, do this. Let's let's package our offering. So that announcement is very important. I believe Zote to Meshika you announcement. To Meshika you? Kabisa. We have gotten it. Yes. Sir. Yes. Carry the anointing oil, go buy it. If you don't have the money to buy a new one, carry the one you use. It doesn't change anything. But make sure that you come with it. Before we give our offering, I want to bring Rev to us so that he may make some announcement before we bring our offerings. Thank you, thank you, Papa. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you. Please, you can be seated. Thank you, thank you so very much. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a ministration. Now, the man of God is just coming in a minute. But uh, it's good to remind us that uh, one of the reasons why we are here, we are here to also uh, witness the dedication of this altar. Praise the name of the Lord. It has taken us a dimension of stretching ourselves. Even to have come up with this structure. But God wants us to do something here. So now I've been having a, a, a feeling and a divine push that as we come tomorrow, the man of God will be dedicating this altar. Each and every one of us go and package a serious sacrifice. No altar that is dedicated without an offering. That's what the man of God began saying. To activate the fire, there has to be a sacrifice. There has to be a man to pray. That's what Elijah demanded. Kukawa na sacrifice. He prayed and the fire came. So tomorrow, apart from our no more love offerings. Go and consider a worthy sacrifice. A serious sacrifice. Something that will stretch you. And you will not regret. Walk on Papa, please. Thank you. Let's celebrate the man of God. Thank you. Now, to echo what Reva said, the order is this. The altar, the sacrifice, and the fire. That's how it works. The altar, the sacrifice, and the fire comes to the sacrifice that is on the altar. Now, I also want to teach you a secret. Any time, whether in the church that you go or the place where you stay, any time there is a dedication of something, always understand, every time there is something being dedicated in the church, is another way God saying, you are a partaker of the newness. Because we don't dedicate old things. You understand? Melewa. Yes. So I, I really want to echo what God's servant has said. I guarantee you. If you are part of this new altar that is being dedicated, you will dedicate things. You will dedicate things. Yes. There are things that we normally do and God is speaking through those things. Kuna mambo mengi ambayo tunafanya na Mungu ananena kupitia yale mambo. 
Elijah prayed Elisha aliomba on the mountain pale mlimani he said akasema answer me by fire nijibu kwa moto so that they may know ili kwamba wajue you have now drawing the people back to you sasa unarejesha watu wakurudie do you know what that means wajue hiyo inamaanisha nini answer me nijibu so that they may know ili kwamba wajue is a new chapter for your people kwamba ni ukurasa mpya kwa watu wako how did that happen hiyo ilitendeka namna gani when the first prophets finished their games wakati manabii wa uongo walimaliza mchezo wao listen to this sikiza Elijah Elia repaired the altar akaandaa madhabahu After repairing the altar Baada ya kutengeneza madhabahu he put sacrifice on the altar Akaekelea dhabihu kwa madhabahu After the sacrifice Baada ya dhabihu the fire fell Moto ukashuka Some of you wengi wenu you will see the kind of fire that will fall in your family Utaona aina ya moto ambayo itaanguka juu ya familia yako Yes fire will fall in our families moto utaanguka kwa familia yako sure. niko na uhakikisho i'm not thinking about it sio nafikiria kuhusu hilo jambo i told you yesterday niliwaambia jana some of you wengi wenu you are the deliverers of your families wewe ndiye mkombozi wa familia yako and and every deliverer na kila mkombozi must pay some cost lazima alipe gharama fulani mkombozi wako bwana yesu alilipa gharama na maisha yake huwezi kuwa mkombozi bila gharama huwezi kukomboa familia yako bila gharama si tu mbarikiwa naomba tusimame tafadhali Father in the name of Jesus. Baba kwa jina la Yesu. Thank you for blessing us today. Asante kwa kutubariki leo. Thank you for what you have done in our families. Asante kwa kile umefanya kwa familia zetu. We serve you with our love offering. Tukuhudumia na sadaka zetu za upendo. This is an offering to acknowledge. Hii ni sadaka ya kutambua. That there is nothing good we have that did not come from you. Kwamba hakuna kitu kizuri tuko nacho ambacho hakijatokana na wewe. You are the giver of all good things. Wewe ndio mpianaji wa mambo yote mazuri. You have blessed us. Umetubariki. We serve you with a part of what you have blessed us with. We are also saying we love you. That's why we are serving you with what we have. When you loved us, you keep giving. You keep giving even today. You give life every day. You give continuity every day. You are a giving God. We want to imitate you tutataka kukufuata by serving you kwa kukutumikia bless your people so evidently bariki watu wako kwa njia inaonekana let them come back with the testimony wacha warejee na ushuhuda let your name be glorified wacha jina lako litukuzwe limitation in our finances vizuizi katika fedha zetu in our economy katika uchumi wetu are breaking in the name of jesus inavunjika kwa jina la yesu bless your people bariki watu wako and confirm your word na thibitisha neno lako in jesus name kwa jina la yesu amen amen let's quickly bring our offering tuje mbele na naomba tusiondoke kabla hatujaachiliwa tusiondoke tafadhali kabla hatujaachiliwa ni muhimu